now that we've tackled batter basics and basics of very flawless baking, I am certain you are prepared for today's class. Creative cupcaking. <laughs> are you ready to cupcake? Yeah! Let's do it! Woohoo! on! I've got our ingredients. Flour, sugar, baking powder, all this fresh strawberry jam. So, let the baking begin! Very creative. Orange is putting mint leaves and chocolate chips in her batter for a mint chip cupcake creation. I'm putting real bits of strawberry in my cupcake to make it extra moist and tasty. How about you, Lemon? I'm replacing some of the oil in mine with applesauce. Adds flavor. Mmm, <laughs> and apple fragrance. Mmm. Blueberry, how are you being cupcake creative today? I'm adding ground zucchini. <laughs> Well, I read about it in a cupcaking blog. It's good. It'll taste like nuts and cinnamon. I promise. Hey, what's that? I wonder what's going on. I don't know. Hey, look! What is it? I have no idea. It's just a little something I call the Sparkle Straw Water Pineberry. Wow! I was tinkering with some pollen, you see, and selecting seeds, and oh, I don't want to bore you. Anyway, would you like a taste? Yes! Yes! Goodness. Well, all right then. Everyone step up. Go. Here's a glass. And one for you. Uh, pass this one down, won't you? Uh, carry on. Yes, there's another. Enjoy. Mmm. It's delicious. It tastes like kind of a, I don't know, maybe watermelon, grape, no, oh, strawberry, and yes, pineapple. I've never tasted anything like it. Oh, and it's a scent sensation. I've got to fashion a fragrance after it for my salon. Oh, Princess Berry Kid, uh, please try some. Ahem. <clears throat> this sparkle straw water pine berry is the finest achievement in berry culture I have ever witnessed. To mark this occasion, I hereby declare tomorrow Berrican Blue! Day with a ceremony in his honor. Yeah! Oh, my. Oh, why, thank you. It's really hardly necessary. It's the least we can do, Barrack and Bloom. After all you do for us. When plants get sick, you always figure out a way to make them better. And where would we be without your berry bitty veggies? It's all part of my job. Oh, well, it's a lovely gesture, I suppose. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I must tend to my Betty Orchard. Oh, he's so humble. Which means it'll be all the more fun to surprise him with something really nice on his special day. Ooh, what a great idea! What can we do that would be very special? Well, I'll ask Plum to help me decorate the gazebo. And I'll bet Cherry could handle the music. Wow, Raspberry, that's a great idea. Perfect, Raspberry. I love it. But what about the rest of us? We need to do something really special. I know. Let's each make him a cupcake. We can make them with the delicious flavors from all the fruits he grows. Oh, that'll be fun. That's perfect. Great idea, Strawberry. Let's get back to baking. Barrack and Bloom supplies all the Berry Bitty produce from my store, so I want to make him the most special cupcake ever. Hmm, now how to make this cupcake special for Barrack and Bloom? Oh, I know! I'll fill the cupcake with a tablespoon of delicious strawberry jam. Oh no, my jam! Where'd it go? <laughs> Cake? Oh, those were all the jars I had. Oh, you're gonna have a tummy ache for sure. And I'm gonna have to restock all the jam in my cafe. 
Anything about a little cupcake? You mean exactly how big is your cupcake going to be? I don't know, but Orange is making a huge one. She's using bags and bags of flour. Oh, you must have just misunderstood. Look at my cupcake. It's normal sized. I'm sure she's baking one just like it. After all, how much cupcake can Barrick and Bloom eat? Hi, guys. How about the cupcake I made for Barrick and Bloom? Bouncing boysenberries, Orange! That's very gigantic! I know! <laughs> Isn't it great? Great? That's the hugest cupcake I've ever seen! Well, don't you think Barrick and Bloom deserves the most special cupcakes we can bake? Did someone mention my name? Yeah! Let's hide! It's Barrick and Bloom! Ah, there you are, Miss Strawberry. Oh, <laughs> yep, here we are, doing uh, nothing secret at all. That's right. Uh, not at all. We have nothing to hide. Did you ladies need me for something? I thought I heard my name. Nope, not me. Uh, not at all. Nuh-uh. Uh, you uh, must have been someone else. Have a lovely day. Well, then, I suppose I'll be on my way, too. That is a very fine banana you have there, young lady. A very fine banana, indeed. Taking it out for some exercise. Come along, Waldo. Time to finish your walk. I never thought of exercising the produce. Or naming it. Hmm. I suppose Waldo is a lovely name for a banana. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so long. See you around. Yeah. Oh, that was too close. He almost found out our surprise. We've got to keep him away. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Keep him busy, I guess. But we're all too busy to keep him busy. We are, but I know someone who isn't. Wait, you want me to what? Just keep Barrick and Bloom busy. We can't let him see us making cupcakes. It'll spoil the surprise. We need a diversion. A diversion? That's a fancy way of saying distraction or keeping him busy. But... How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Think of something. You're both guys. Why don't you do guy things? Guy things? I don't know. Like what? You're the guy. Figure it out. Hello there. <gasps> Here he comes now. A very fine day to you, young ladies. Why, Mr. Huckleberry, what brings you to town? Uh, guy things. Like, uh, running. <laughs> and shouting. Ah! What in the world? Oh, my stars! 
Basil, what an unexpected development! Well, that seemed kind of extreme. I hope Eric and Bloom will be okay. Sure he will. He's a guy. They like that stuff. What matters is that he's not around to see our cupcakes. About those cupcakes. Yes, about those cupcakes, Orange. That one you made was huge. That's right, and it wasn't that big. And I'm not going to make Barrack and Bloom just any old cupcake. He deserves something special. Yes, but what's important is... What's important is that if you make a huge cupcake, ours will seem kind of bitty in comparison. Good point. But really... All I know is that I'm not skimping on mine. <sighs> Well, it's up to you what kind of cupcake you want to make. But just remember, uh, there are a lot of things that make a cupcake great. Don't well, worry. then, I'm going to have to redo mine. Maybe I can you team don't up with love the Plum. Or a you know what? If Blueberry's Nor making a bigger the cupcake, to too then mine will be bigger, some. too. And the presentation. Oh, no. I have a feeling this is going to be the very biggest, very baddest bake-off ever. There. My friends might be baking colossal cupcakes, but I'm sure Barrick and Bloom will be more than happy with this one. Won't he? Oh, maybe Orange is right, Pupcake. Barrick and Bloom is special, so he deserves a really special cupcake. But how can I make a more special cupcake without getting carried away? <laughs> you may not have all the answers, but you sure are cute. <laughs> hey, that's it. I'll make a pupcake cupcake. <laughs> It'll be the cutest cupcake you've ever seen. Stay right there. Okay, now stay still. Oh, you're right, Pupcake. It's not what I had hoped for. But you didn't really help by moving around so much. <laughs> oh, now what am I going to do? Of course! Oh, Custard, please come back. It'll be fun! There. Now that's the perfect cupcake. Just one last touch. <laughs> Whoa! What do you think? I had to change my recipe to make it this big, but isn't it the most special cupcake you've ever seen? All it needs is this cherry and... Oh, I must have added too much plaster. Plaster? Well, I don't know how to make it delicious and bigger and stronger all at once. <gasps> hey! You guys are good with tools. Maybe you can help me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I never baked anything before with plaster. <clears throat> I got four words for you. Frosting licking. Can me you! <laughs> So that activity is what you would refer to as zip lining? Wasn't it fun? Uh, well, I... Uh... It's just one of the many activities in the, uh, gentleman's diversion club.
Yeah. Goodness, Mr. Huckleberry, this club seems quite rough and tumble. Only the roughest and tumblest for gentlemen like us. Now, when was this club established? It's after me! It's very old and established. We better keep diverting. I know another diversion, which I know you'll enjoy. To the lake! Yeah! <sighs> the lake. What a wonderful suggestion. I can't think of a more tranquil spot to sit back and marvel at the glory of nature all around us. Yet still, I can't help but wonder why my feet are strapped to these boards. Oh, I knew he'd love water skiing. Looking good, Barry Can Bloom. <laughs> well, you were anyway. Okay, another diversion. Think. I know. Are you certain that this is enjoyable? As enjoyable as anything else I could all of a sudden think of. Have fun! Okay, now tackle me. Tackle you? I'm not even sure I know how to go about that. Is this necessary for the gentleman's diver diversion club? Yes, very necessary. <laughs> oh, uh, ah, do, whoa, do, whoa. <laughs> oh dear, I, I do hope that wasn't too extreme. Are you all right? I'm fine. Cherry, just an hour to go till the big ceremony. All I need to do is put up a few more, you know, streamers, balloons, and more streamers, and then what in the very bitty world? I thought you guys were just making regular old cupcakes. But this, a giant beehive? A circus? A volcano? Well, the lava is strawberry jam, and the rocks are sugar. At least it should taste good. How could you all get so carried away? Well, I tried making a pupcake cupcake, but that didn't work. Then I tried a custard cupcake, and, well, that didn't work either. So uh, one thing led to another, and... Oh, perhaps I've lost my focus on what's important here. Ready to see the most special cupcake? Bring it in, boys! It. I had a little help from Ed and Earl. Yep. <laughs> and we used only the finest spare parts and lumber, plus 50 yards of fencing wire. I, uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't taste the cake part. Oh, but the frosting's delicious. And wait till you see this. Guys? Isn't this the best cupcake you've ever What's wrong with it? I don't know! Well, how come there's a fork in the gearbox? Uh, cause I was all done eating frosting. Look out! It's going out of control! <laughs> Let's work together to clean this mess up. Yeah! There we go. Good as new. So sad. <laughs> but at least I can still smell cupcakes. Cupcakes? Oh, dear. Never much cared for them. I'm more of a fruit and veggie man myself. Bear can bloom. Huckleberry, what... what happened to you? Well, it's like this. You see, 
We were jumping in mud puddles, and then we got kind of lost all night, and then we wandered into a brambleberry thicket, and... Oh, the ceremony's starting. You better get up there. The royal rutabaga. I am deeply honored, Princess Mary Kit. And I am honored and full of gratitude to have this day named after me and, and this park. Oh, I, I've never seen this park so clean. However, I must say, the last day has been most unusual. Most unusual indeed. I'm not certain why I was invited into the Gentleman's Diversion Club, uh, but it has been the best 24 hours of my life. <laughs> oh, come here, you. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> I'll tell you my secret, Blueberry. That's because... I turned it off! <laughs> oh, wow! What will your manager say? And my promoter, and my agent, and my stylist, and my trainer, and my publicist, and my tour manager, and my assistant, and, and everyone in very big city, and... <laughs> Lemon, this sunscreen is very wonderfully fragrant. So, uh... Lemony! Glad you like it, Cherry. What about your tour? Girls, I'd like to ask you a favor. Sure, Cherry. Anything. Of course. You name it. I'm going to turn on my phone, call my manager, and tell her I'd like to postpone planning my tour and... Stay here longer? Really? That's fantastic! You mean it? Cherry, that's wonderful! You're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Thank you so much, Strawberry. I could use a vacation, and I can't think of a better place to take one than Berry Bitty City. Yay! So, what's on your vacation schedule for today, Cherry? <sighs> I thought I'd sit down by the lake. Blueberry loaned me a thrilling new Patty Persimmon book, Mystery of the Missing Mozzarella. Ooh, sounds like a nice, relaxing way to spend the day. I made you a special cherry turnover for your picnic. Oh, thank you so much, Strawberry. I, I wish I had something for you. Oh, you being here is enough. Have fun. I will. <sighs> See ya! Hmm, I suspected it was the sous chef all along. What was that? One and two and kickball change. Kickball change, other side and kickball change. Very nicely done. <laughs> Hi, Cherry Jam. Hi, Plum. What is that awful noise? Barry Kim Bloom is learning to play the bassoon. He likes to practice in the gazebo. <sighs> now that is music. Get back to class. See you later. And kickball change, kickball change. <laughs> so cute. Come in. Uh huh. Hello there, Cherry. Uh, Lemon, is is that you? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I need to wear these when I do the princess's toes. <laughs> Bloom and his bassooning. 
But it is his new passion. <laughs> so, uh, do you need a pedicure? Oh, uh, no thank you. I'll stop by a little later. Just saying hi. See you later. Bye-bye. Yum, souffles. Strawberry, you're such a talented cook. <laughs> Thank you, Cherry. Something special to snack on at the book club tonight. That's very thoughtful of you. <laughs> See! How was the mystery book? Very thrilling! I, I finished it! Wow! Ready to start another one? Actually... Uh... <laughs> actually, I kind of think I've had enough vacation. Oh. Really? You aren't going back to Berry Big City so soon, are you? Oh, no. no! I love it here. It's just... Well, everyone makes a contribution in Berry Bitty City. I, I mean, Raspberry makes beautiful fashions. Orange makes sure everyone can get whatever they need at her store. Plum teaches dancing. I wish... <laughs> I wish there was something I could do, too, Strawberry! <sighs> you know what we need? What? A music teacher. That's something you could contribute. Wow! That I can do! <laughs> Excellent, Barrykin Bloom. Keep up the practice. Thank you, Miss Cherry. <laughs> Sounding good, Barrykin Bloom. <laughs> Barry. Yeah! <laughs> awesome. Nice! Thank you for letting us use your studio, Plum. Uh, I'm wondering if you could use it a little more. to make music, Cherry Jam? Well, uh, okay! Really good. You're coming along great, Plum. Thank you. This is great. Now I'll be able to keep the beat for my dance students. Well, that's all for today. Tomorrow we'll learn paradiddles. Paradiddles? Sure. Here, I'll show you. At the rate you're learning, you'll be doing that with your eyes closed by the time we hold a recital at the end of the week. Recital? Oh, <laughs> can't wait. Cherry, wait! What is it, Plum? Well, do we really need to have a recital? <laughs> well, sure. It's customary. Is customary necessary? A recital is a good learning milestone. Something to work for. <laughs> well, that's what my music teacher used to say. Part of the fun of making music is performing it for others. Well, see you tomorrow. Uh-huh. See ya. I better keep practicing. Not very good, 
jacks. One and two and one and two and box step and crazy legs. Crazy legs, box step and crazy legs. Crazy legs and shimmy and shimmy. That's it. Shimmy and fall off the log. Fall off the log. Fish tails, fish tails. That's it. You're swimming, you're swimming. And shish kaboom ba. One, two, three, four. Shish kaboom ba. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Whoa! about that again. Here, Pop. Oh, thank you. Uh-oh. Let's end class a little early today. Good work, everyone. Bye, see you later. Bye. Thanks, Pop. Bye, see you next time. That was my bow. Oh, no worries. Back under, please. <laughs> uh, F. Oh, no, no, G. Fa la la na na. Ouch! <laughs> Careful with that thing, Orange. That thing is called a bow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, Lemon, could you? Oh, of course. Pardon me. I I think this hand is done soaking. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Girls, do you think it might be possible, pretty please, to do your practicing elsewhere? This is salon time. But we have to practice for the recital. Every moment counts. <laughs> we're sorry, Lemon. You are absolutely right. Girls, we're being rude to Lemon. We all need the talent that Lemon has to offer, so we should show respect for her work and not get in the way. Oh, there Hi, you Chara. are. Hi, Hey, how's it going? Girls, I wanted to let you know I'm moving the recital to next Tuesday. Really? But we'll be ready. We've been practicing. No, it's Plum. She sprained her wrist and, and needs a couple more days to recuperate. Oh, no. Poor Plum. That's terrible. Well, that gives us more time to practice. I guess I'll need another salon appointment for the day before. Me too. Me three. Can you put me down for one, two, Lemon? Got it. Raspberry, that's great! You're ready for Tuesday's recital right now! Oh, thanks, Terry. Uh, I wanted to ask, though, or request, I mean, uh, ask a favor. Sure. Well, Plum just told me she needs a new dress for the recital, and I don't have time to make one, well, to finish one by Tuesday. I feel so bad for her. She's really up... dis... upset. She wanted me to ask you. Oh, you really care about her, don't you? Well, I just know how much difference a new dress can make, you know? No problem. Will another day be enough? Sure. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I'll tell the other students. Wednesday it is. Here I come! Ooh, I can't wait! It's going to look smash, uh, terrific, uh, smasherific on her! Gorgeous! Beautiful dress, Raspberry! It looks exquisite on her! Stunning! Oh, perfect! She'll look great at the recital! Recital! Oh. <gasps> Are you okay? Oh, Plum! Oh, poor thing! Uh, uh, let us help you up. Ouch! I don't think I can sit. Oh, I'm so sorry. Poor Plum. Um, 
In fact, I... I don't think I'll be able to sit at my drum set at all. At least for a couple of days. Until it's, uh, better. Well, I guess we could put off the recital again another day or two. Oh, uh, sure. No problem. That's okay. Sure, Plum. We can wait. Oh, thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Because I really want to be part of the recital. <laughs> until tonight. Uh, that's just the thing, Cherry. You see, I... I can't find my drumsticks. You can't find your drumsticks? No problem. I'll help you look. Oh, I'm sure I can find them. All I need is just one more day to look for them, I mean. Another day? but I just baked these for the recital. I know, but poor Plum. She's having so many troubles. Strawberry, is it true? We're postponing the recital again? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Oh, I was so excited to perform, but now I've built up too much excitement, and I'm, you know, losing my nerve. I can't do everyone's hair and nails every day. I, I just can't do it anymore and practice my bass. I, oh, I just can't do it. But poor Plum, she can't find her drumsticks. Hmm. I think I know where they might be. Let's wait a bit before postponing the recital. I'm gonna go help Plum find what she needs. Ouch! Oh, sorry. You're sure you had your drumsticks when you were picking flowers? Sure. Um, yeah. Well, uh, I think so. Oh, Strawberry, I'm so sorry uh, about delaying the recital and all. I know. I am too. And everyone else. But I thought everyone would be happy to have more time to practice. Well, at first, maybe, but now they've built up so much anticipation, they're all getting nervous. I know it isn't your fault, but... If everyone didn't want to wait, then why did they? Because we care about you, Plum. Oh. Oh, Strawberry. I didn't realize. Everyone's been so kind and patient, and I've been making up excuses to put off the recital. But why? You love to perform. You dance for us all the time. But I'm good at dancing. This is different. I've never performed all by myself at something I make lots of mistakes at. In front of people all looking at me. Hmm. You have a point there. Let's see how many mistakes we're talking about. Just you and me. Oh. Okay if it's just you. <laughs> oh, you found them! <laughs> yeah, wonder how they got in there. <laughs> Whoa, neat! <laughs> when did you learn that beat? These are called paradiddles, and every time I try them... <laughs> that happens. Try again, but hold on a little tighter. Oh, Lemon's gotta see this. Can I call her? Oh, well, I guess that'd be okay if it's just you and Lemon. Hi, Lemon. Lady. Oh, Blueberry's got to see this. Oh, and look what else 
Cherry taught me for the recital. Wow, Plum! That's great! I think you really are ready for the recital. Oh? Well, I have an idea. It's not really fair that everyone else hasn't had a chance to warm up. Why don't we all do a number together to start off? Oh, that would be great, Cherry. So, can we let the rest of the audience in? Sure. I'm ready. Thank you, everyone. That's it? The rest of the students are already here. <laughs> oh! I insisted on being invited as a prospective student. <clears throat> I am thinking of taking up the bassoon. Oh, that's oh, great! Oh, that's so great. Oh, yeah. You'll be so good at it! <laughs> Princess, we could play a duet. As you wish, Barrack and Bloom. As you wish. <laughs> 